Yo, what is up, my soul family? Um, I had to jump on here to give a message right quick. I'm, um, you know, just going for a little nightly stroll here. Um, yeah, I, need, I just needed to jump on and give a message to you guys. You know, I apologize for the video quality. You know, I'm outside. It's nighttime, whatever, what have you. I don't really care. Uh, people who are going to get the message are going to get the message. The people who are not are not. And I, I really don't care at this point. I, 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 That's a lie. I do care. But it's like at a certain point, it's just like, you know, I know what my purpose is. I know what I am. I was placed here to do in my life. And, um, you know, this road that you're traveling down is not an easy road. Like, um, you will find yourself having to do the same things over and over again until you learn the lesson. Um, you'll find yourself just like working yourself to the bone, like constantly. Um, I'm not saying that's what life has to be, uh, is working your life to the bone, working a nine to five, whatever, whatever you do with your life. I'm not saying it has to be that way. It really doesn't have to be that difficult. I feel personally in my own life, like the more simple life is like the better. So I try to keep my life simple and not so complicated um, to get all uh, swept up in the drama and the bullshit and the, other, uh, and the things that other people are doing behind the scenes. Like, you know, I make videos and I talk about your enemies, okay, our enemies. When I talk about our enemies, um, I'm talking about people who are haters, people who look down on, on you, who talk shit about you, gossip about you. They don't want you to fulfill your life mission and purpose. They don't want you to succeed. They don't want you to um, make it in life. And um, these could have been uh, close friends, co-workers, uh, family members, whatever. Um, you know, I, I'm not saying that there's, you know, a monster or a boogeyman behind every door. That there is something to be afraid of all the time. It's just... Uh, it's just a fact that everybody's got enemies. Everybody's got an opponent. Everybody's got, whether that be yourself or whether that be other people who don't want to see you succeed. Um, you know, this life, this path of, this path is not an easy path. The path of a chosen person, the path of, um, you know, enlightenment and awakening and ascension, um, you will just constantly find yourself being like, man, like, is it ever going to come? It, it, when is my, when am I going to catch a break, God? When is this going to end? Is it ever going to end? And the answer to it is you have to enjoy life in the moment for what it is. And, and once you become comfortable with where you're at right here, right now, you will move on to the next level. After you learn the lesson and you become comfortable with where you're at right here, right now. And um, that's what I'm being told. And so that's what I simply do with my life. I roll with the punches, you know, a, a while back ago. Um, you know, I, it's no um, mystery to people. I've talked about it here on this channel and my other channel. I've dealt with a drug addiction in my past that was really bad. I had to go away for three years. I literally... Um, you know, isolated myself. I cut off everybody that I knew or cared for. And I had to do it. It was something that I had to do. I don't think I literally had to move away to a new city or any of that stuff, but I had to, I had to realize that my problem was me and I had to deal with me. And so that's what I did. And I, I went away. And at that time, things were really hard. But like, you know, for some reason, I still had a smile on my face. For some reason, I was still hopeful. I still believed in my future. I still believed that there was something worth fighting for. And, um, you know, God gave me that vision. God showed me that um, there's something worth fighting for in my life. And so I believed him. And um, I believed if I quit. And I stopped doing people wrong. I stopped fucking over people for my own selfish gains. That God would take care of me and that I, I would live a prosperous life. That I would live the life that I wanted. That I would get the things that I desired in my life. But the cold hard truth about it is like we're never, we're not always going to, not never, we're not always going to get what we want in life. And um, you can either accept that or uh, whatever. But if you want something in life, you can go and get it. Or you can, uh, you can work to get it. 
And I guess that's the moral of the story is like, you know, when I first started this whole journey of mine, I wanted to be an artist. I wanted to be um, a singer, a, a rapper, a singer. And, you know, I wanted to be in the music industry. And that was what my goal was. That's what I really wanted to do. I said, if there was anything that made life worth living to me, it would be for me to be you know, a part of music in some kind of way. And so that's what I went after that. I did open mic nights. I went and I performed in front of, you know, it wasn't thousands of people. I mean, overall, over time, yeah, probably thousands of people. Um, but I got up on stage in front of other people and I performed my art that I created, songs that I wrote, songs that meant a lot to me, songs that I wrote down that were from my heart, that were from my life experience. It was real. It was raw. It was me. And, um, you know, I had the courage to do that. And then, uh, you know, every time I'd get up on stage, I would feel afraid. You know what I mean? I'd be afraid. What are people going to think about me? Am I going to fuck up? Am I going to choke? Am I going to, you know, all these thoughts would come in my head and it, it got, it was scary. Okay. But then over time I kept getting up on stage and it became less and less scary to me. It, it was, I wasn't feeling the fear anymore. And then sooner or later, you know, I didn't fear, feel any fear at all. And I was just able to be myself. I was just able to perform and just perform my art and feel comfortable in my own body doing it. And um, that took time and practice. And that's something that kind of, I had a situation happen before I left the city I moved to, to get away from the people and the drugs and, and everything to kind of start over again. Um, something happened and I had to leave. And um, ever since then, I haven't really been into the music thing as much. And... Um, it's a piece of me that it means a lot to me. I really love it. I, I do it more for myself than for other people. But, you know, I feel all good things come with time. And, you know, it's only a matter of time for me as long as I just keep doing the right thing and I keep working towards my goals and I keep putting action behind my vision instead of just sitting back and just watching my life pass me by. Um, you know, sometimes if we want something in life, we have to be brave enough to go out and get it. So, you know, I jumped on here to give this message um, just to say, like, this road is not easy one. If you are looking to do what you love in life, uh, if you're an artist, if you're a singer, a rapper, uh, you paint, you draw, there's, uh, you're a graphic designer, um, you do something in, you know, the public eye or you do something uh, in regards to arts or something that you want to do that you, you love in your life. It's not an easy road. You know, uh, the first thing that's going to happen when you um, come out of the closet, so to speak, come out of the creative closet and you showcase your work is people are going to make fun of you. People are going to uh, rag on you. People are going to bring you down. People are going to want to um, uh, fuck with you because you are they don't want you to make it. There are people in your life, they don't want you to make it to your destination because if you make it by doing something that you love and you're passionate about, that means that their whole life was wrong. The way they were living their life, that was, it was wrong. Because, because if you succeed and you show them that you can do what you love with your life, and you can make a living from it, and you can be successful, that proves their whole uh, existence wrong. And, um, and that creates fear in people. People fear what they don't understand. And so people don't understand you. People don't understand you because you have this mindset that not many people have. You have a mindset of anything is possible. You have a mindset of I am the miracle. You have a mindset that says that I can do Whatever I want with my life and anybody who says that I cannot do something is wrong and, and, that, uh, and I, that you will prove them wrong. And so, you know, this road that you're traveling down, if you have found this video, you are probably someone who's a lot like me who is, is on the road to creating a business, creating something beautiful, something wonderful, creating something for yourself. That isn't, you know, working to create somebody else's vision, working to create somebody else's dream. And th but this road is not easy. And I knew that going into this, that this was not going to be easy. But, you know, I make the decisions. They're hard to make. And I don't, you know, I don't like to. I make decisions that are really difficult to make. But it's like, 
you know, you have to do what you have to do. And if you want to do something extra in your life, if you want to do something creative in this day and age where things cost so much, the wages are going down, the cost of items are going up. It's like you're going to have to um, muster up the energy to do your creative projects whenever you have the time to, aside from whenever you're working or you're doing whatever. So I just wanted to jump on quick, guys. I really hope this message helps somebody out there. If you like this content, if you like the messages that I give out, you find them motivational, inspirational, give this video a like. Um, uh, subscribe to the channel for more messages if, uh, if you like this content. And uh, if you want to be kept updated, hit the notification bell and you'll be kept updated for when I go live and I update new content. As always, all the information is found down in the description box below. I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for your support, and um, I'm out.